Hi all, Greg and Latte here. It's high time I did an updated list of all the add-ons I am currently using. So, here it is for Dragonflight. I'm going to hop through these quickly and give you a tiny preview of each one, so I won't spend much time on each since there's so many. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. These add-ons do not all come from the same place and will need to be downloaded from specific sources. I have noted in the video which ones these are, so keep an eye out. Action Bar Profiles This lets you save your spec's talents, ability placement, keybinds, and so on to a profile that you can then copy onto another character. A super must-have for alts. I can't live without this one. Add-on Control Panel this lets you save your add-ons into profiles, which can be loaded on other characters. This is great if you have lots of add-ons you don't want always on, on each character. Advanced Interface Options allows you to toggle a lot of things that you don't have options for in the base game, such as different chat options or floating combat text, and it even has complex stuff like CVARs. I like to use it to check for Lua errors when I think my add-ons might be causing some issues. Adventure Guide Lockouts. This little thing simply adds a counter flag to the Adventure Guide to show if you've done anything in that instance. Altaholic. This one tracks almost everything you need to know about your alts. Rep, item level, professions, you name it. It even keeps track of items, which is super nice when you're trying to see who has what. Like Expulsum, for example. Auto Loot Plus does exactly what you'd expect. It makes your auto loot windows faster. It's nice. Bagnon. This consolidates your bags and bank into one big one. This also lets you view alt bags and banks, as well as keep track of your gold on your account. These additions to Bagnon put BOE and item level tags on items that are in your bags and bank. Battle Pet Battle UI Tweaks does various tweaks, as the name suggests, to your Battle Pet UI. The main one I love it for is this here. It shows the abilities of your enemy pets and their cooldowns. Battle Pet Breed ID. This adds the breed ID to your pets in the collections interface. Blizz Move. This unlocks the various panels and windows in your interface and lets you easily resize and move them around on demand. BTW Quests. It has an addition for each expansion, and shows you all the quest chains in an expansion by zone or related content. And it shows what you've done by checkmarking it. Even better, you can click on a quest in the chain, like if you don't know where to pick it up, and it will set a waypoint for you. Super, super handy. Buy them all. This lets you buy items from vendors and stacks, rather than individually. Can I Mog It? This is a better way of tracking your account's mog collection via tooltips and icons. Classic Quest Log. This makes your default quest log look like this. And you can still access the other one, too. Convert Ratings. This adds a percentage to all of your stats. Deja Character Stats. This turns your character panel stats into this nice list. You can move stuff around and turn things on and off as well. Derangement Minimap Blips. This makes your minimap icons pop out more. Destroyus Pro is for easy mass disenchanting, milling, and prospecting that creates a macro based on what you want and then just breaks down whatever's in your bag on one button. I really like it for disenchanting the crap ton of cheap gear I get from leveling. Dynamic Cam. Very customizable camera add-on that lets you set up angles and positions for any situation, which will then automatically function for you. Easy Delete Confirm. Just as the name suggests, this automatically fills in that are you sure you want to delete window. LVI is a huge add-on that can completely change every aspect of your UI, from bars to nameplates to chat, and so much more. There's way too much to cover in this one little section. LVY Fog of War removes what is technically called the Fog of War from your character's maps and lets you see all zones even if you've not discovered them. Super nice if you play alts. 
LVY The Shadow and Light adds a ton of neat tweaks to LVY, but I mainly use it for two things. The extension of the merchant frame, and the customization of the character pane. Benic UI The LVY Edit adds a ton of tweaks and neat things as well, but I mainly use it for this little pop-out professions tab that can be set to fade, and it matches nicely with the rest of my minimalist setup. If you want to see how I use LVY in my own setup, check out my UI series linked in the description below. It's a bit old, but still very accurate. GB Auto Deposit is a super simple add-on that one of my Discord members made for me and shared on Curse. It simply auto deposits the gold in your bags into the guild bank every time you open the guild bank, and then leaves a specific amount that you've specified in your bags. Garrison Mission Manager a handy tool for any mission table of any expansion. This helps auto-fill in teams to the highest percentages. Gathermate 2 and Gathermate 2 data. This keeps track of all kinds of nodes, such as herbs, ore, and treasure, and the data portion imports the nodes' locations for you, rather than having you find them yourself. Handy Notes and all of its additions. This tracks a lot of things on your maps. I like it for treasures, rares, and holidays. Help Me Play is the one-stop shop for quest lovers made by the lovely Sire Light Sky from my Discord. It has a ton of options from auto-accepting and turning in quests, auto-selecting and equipping quest gear, skipping cinematics, auto-dialogue, marking quest mobs, and much, much more. Immersion. This spices up the WoW quest and NPC dialogue frames into a more modern look. Inactive Reputation Headers lets you set those pesky drop-down reputations in your list to inactive. The Tillers, the Anglers, and a few others from Northrend can't be hidden even after you hit Exalted because they're tabby drop-downs instead of just a regular reputation bar. This add-on lets you hide them. Instance Portals marks where dungeons and raids are on the world map. The base game does show these icons when you're zoomed into a zone, but not on the whole continent when zoomed out. So, this add-on can help with navigation. King Kong Frame Fader This highly customizable add-on lets you fade out any frame in the game, including other add-ons. Crowey's Achievement Filter modifies your achievements window to look better, filter better, track better, and is just an overall improvement to this part of your collections. KUI Nameplates and KUI Nameplates Elite. Super customizable nameplates. Nuff said. Mask and its additions. This adds unique skins to your action bars, buffs, and other similar things. The ones I use are Cirque and Grunge. Mount Journal Enhanced. This changes the Mount Journal UI a little and adds totals as well as filters. Movable Objectives Frame simply allows you to move and resize your quests and objectives list. While LVY and Blizzmove allow you to move this frame, and Edit Mode will let you change the length, they do not allow you to rescale the actual size of this frame by itself, so that's what I use this add-on for. New Openables. This creates a button that will show anytime you have an item in your bags that you can open or use like gear tokens, chests, and recipes. No Thunder Totem Map. This prevents the Thunder Totem map from showing while in Thunder Totem and instead shows High Mountain. Opai and Opai Mask. This creates customizable rings that contain anything you want, from abilities to toys to mounts. Paragon Reputation. This changes your reputation bars to be more obvious about your Paragon ranks. The add-on aptly called Paste, as you can copy and paste lists of waypoints all at once, instead of one at a time. And of course, you'll want the add-on TomTom for the waypoints and arrows to accompany this. Postal. This adds more functionality to your mailbox, such as a list of your alts, guildies, and remembering who you've mailed. Pratt 3.0. Customizable chat frames that even have fade options. I prefer this over LVY's chat frames. Profession Assistance. This shows where materials such as herbs and ore come from in their tooltip. I really like it for prospecting and enchanting materials. 
Requester. Changes your quest list UI to be a bit more colorful. It also adds quest item buttons and sounds for completing quests. Random Hearthstone creates a macro that randomizes all of your Hearthstone toys. There's a good handful of these fun toys in the game now, so it's neat to have them selected randomly. I like using it on my Opi like this. Range Display. This gives you a visual range of how far your target or mouse over target is. Rarity. This tracks your tries at special items like mounts and pets, and shows if something drops in a tooltip. It also gives you a faux achievement when you get it. Retab Binder. A PvP smart add on that lets you tab target only players in instance PvP. Rematch and Pet Battle Scripts. Rematch majorly improves your pet collection window by adding lots of information, filters, and allows you to save teams for future use. Pet Battle Scripts requires Rematch to use as you can import scripted strings to your save teams to make battles a snap. I have a video called How I Make Pet Battles Easy that covers exactly how to use both of these add-ons linked in the description. Roots a highly customizable add-on that lets you create line routes over zones. You can freehand it or attach it to nodes from Gathermate 2 or Handy Notes. Saved Instances, a super helpful add-on that tracks lockouts across all your characters. It can track a lot, not just instances. Sexy Map, a highly customizable minimap add-on. This comes with some nice preset options too. Shadowlands Micro Menu. This simply changes the micro menu back into the version with the icons it had before it was changed in patch 10.0. Silver Dragon. Similar to Rare Scanner, this shows rare locations and alerts you to them. I like using this for the old world rares. Skyrim Level Up, just as the name suggests, simply adds the level up sound from Skyrim when you ding to make it more thrilling. Spy, a fabulous PvP add-on that alerts you to nearby PvPers, including stealthies. Fun fact, the sounds from this are from the old Star Trek shows. Target Nameplate Indicator, this places a target over your target's head, helpful for seeing who you've targeted in a sea of mobs. Tom Tom, a must-have waypoint add-on that gives you an arrow to follow. Total Roleplay 3, this is a super customizable add-on that lets you create an RP profile for your character. Trade School Master and Trade School Master App Helper. This is an auction house add-on. It's especially great for checking prices and tooltips. See my how-to on this for more. WQ Achievements will alert you when you log in when world quests are active with achievements and rewards like transmog or recipes that you still need. You can even change what it does and doesn't track in its options. It's a fantastic to-do list. Weakoras is an incredible add-on that lets you create custom UI stuff. Everything from tracking class resources to cooldown alerts and way more, it's got an intense amount of things you can do, both visually and audibly. I just use it for very basic things, such as making class resources pretty, or making cooldown alerts, or tracking buffs and stacks of my dots. All my weak auras can be found in my wago.io in the description. Wider transmog preview simply widens your transmog window to give you more room and allows you to zoom out further in this window as well. World Quest Tracker. A nice World Quest map UI that adds these bars over each zone. A must have. Archie, an archaeology add on to make your life easier. It has menus with solve buttons and status bars. It works with TomTom Tom for waypoints to the next dig site. It has sound cues when you've located a dig spot, and much more. Make sure to pick up the one from wago.io, as that seems to be the one that's working as of this video. Monar's Wardrobe Helper. This is super helpful for mog collecting. It will show you everything you're missing in terms of mog, especially for instances. And there we have it. If you think I've misinformation, or you want to request I do a specific guide, 
let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.